Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the Transtech Beetle Mini, a pocket-sized 2-inch micro quadcopter which is equipped with the Cadex Vista digital transmission system. In this video I'm going to quickly go over its features and specs, show you how to set it up and install a radio receiver and the Cadex Vista unit, and finally head outdoors and test it out. In terms of packaging, the Beetle Mini comes inside this box. Inside, along with the Beetle Mini, you can find two sheets of stickers, two extra canopies, two sets of Gem Fan Halki 2036 full-bladed propellers, extra screws and a hex key driver, six plastic propeller guards, so you are given two extra, a simple linear antenna with a UFL connector, and 3D printed TPU parts for protecting the camera lens and for mounting a TBS immortal antenna. In terms of specs, the Beetle Mini is using 1104 6800 kV motors, which support up to 4S batteries. The stack is based on an F4 flight controller that features a USB Type-C connector and can pre-flashed with Betaflight 4.1.5 and a 25A BLLES 4-in-1 ESC. The Cadex Vista is going to be mounted on top of them, and in case you are getting the ready-to-fly version, it is going to be pre-installed and pre-configured for you, and in case you are getting the plug-and-play version, which is the one I have, you will need to install it by yourself. In addition, it is using an XT30 battery connector, which I recommend to secure to the arm using a zip tie. The battery is going to be mounted on the bottom of the quadcopter, and just like its bigger brother, on the top side under the canopy, you can find a pretty bright user-controllable LED strip. As for the frame, its wheelbase is 103mm, the distance between the front two motors is 90mm, the distance between the back two motors is 78.5mm, the distance between the back two motors and the front ones is 60mm, the width of the arms is 7mm, and the thickness of the bottom unibody plate is 2.5mm. The weight of the Transtech Beetle Mini is 120 grams, so it's 29 grams lighter than the bigger 2.5 inch version, which shares with it its stack, but is using bigger motors, a bigger frame, and is equipped with a full sized DJI Air unit. In addition, including the propeller guards, the Beetle Mini weighs 127.5 grams, and including a 4S 550 mAh LiPo battery, which is the one that I recommend to use, its total weight is 192 grams. As I mentioned before, in case you're getting the plug and play version, you will need to install and configure the Cadex Vista unit by yourself. The Vista is going to be mounted to the central carbon fiber plate using these M2 20x20mm mounting holes and 19mm long M2 screws, which unfortunately are not included either with the Vista or with the Beetle Mini, and since these screws are a little bit hard to find, I asked Transtech if they can kindly include them in the future, and hopefully they will do it. In order to connect the Vista to the flight controller, you will need to cut the included DJI harness, and in case you are going to use an external radio receiver, you will also need to remove the RC wire. In case you are not going to use the DJI radio controller, adding an external radio receiver is done using the pads which are located on the left side of the flight controller. You can power up your radio receiver either using 3.3 or 5 volts, so the SMX radio receivers are supported, and I recommend that before wrapping everything up, you should bind the radio receiver with your radio controller, configure it on beta flight, and make sure that everything is working properly. Now let's quickly go through beta flight's configuration, and by the way, I'm going to leave a link down below to beta flight's dump file, so in case things go wrong, you can revert to the default settings. Under the port section, the serial RX is enabled on UART 1, and the configuration slash MSP switch is enabled on UART 2 in order to enable data telemetry on your video feed. The EC slash Moto protocol is set to DSHOT 600, and the 4-in-1 EC comes flashed with 16.7 BLLES firmware. I did try to enable bidirectional DSHOT in order to test RPM filter after flashing the 4-in-1 EC with Jazz Mavericks firmware without any success, but according to this thread on ASIC groups, it might be possible after flashing the 4-in-1 EC with JESC firmware and licensing each EC, which costs money. You should note when installing the propellers that out of the box the moto direction is reversed. Under the receiver tab you can configure your radio receiver, and in case you are going to use the DJI radio controller, you should set the serial receiver provider to SBUS. Under the power and battery you should note that the scale by default is set to 110, but according to my experience this is not the correct value, so you are not going to get the correct voltage of your battery, so you should set the scale value to 112, and don't forget to save your settings. Here you can see the PID tuning, which are the default PID tuning of Betaflight 
Under the receiver tab, after binding the radio receiver with the radio controller, make sure that everything works properly. Define your favorite flight modes. In case you're going to use Betaflight Custom OSD, you can define your favorite OSD elements. Now in case you haven't done it already, using the DJI system software, activate and update the firmware of the Cadex Vista. And if you'd like to know more information about this process and about applying the FCC and 1200mW hack, you can watch my review of the Cadex Vista in this link over here. The next thing that I've done is to test the Transtech Beetle Mini using 3 and 4S batteries. After testing it out, I can tell you that in my opinion, the best battery in terms of flight time and performance is a 550mAh 4S battery, which should provide you with between 3 to 4 minutes of flight time. However, if you want to keep things a little bit lighter and you want to fly indoors, even though in my opinion it is not that recommended, you can also use a 3S battery. And if you'd like to cruise around outdoors, you can also use an 850mAh 4S battery, which should provide you with between 5 to 6 minutes of flight time, but pay attention that you will need to replace the battery velcro strap, as the one which is included with the Beetle Mini is a little bit too short. Now by the way, I haven't tested the Beetle Mini with the propeller guards, because in my opinion they are not going to add a lot of protection, but still if you are going to fly it indoors, they are better than nothing. And since they are not going to add a lot of weight, I don't think they are going to highly affect its performance. As for the linear antenna, in the flight footage that you are about to see, I used it, and generally it performed ok, but in order to stay on the safe side, I recommend to remove this 3D printed TPU part, drill a hole in the canopy, and use the Rush FEB Cherry antenna, as it is much more reliable. So overall, in my opinion, the Transtech Petal Mini is a pretty powerful, durable, and pocket-friendly micro-quadcopter. However, if you're not limited by weight, I would go with the 2.5 inch version because it is more powerful, more efficient, and will enable you to save the flight footage without any interference to the onboard micro SD card. I'm going to wrap up this video with some flight footage. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.